Well, welcome YouTube friends and family to today's edition of the Wellness Homesteader. So today we are going to do a fun little craft. This will probably be somewhat of a short video. I do want to say welcome. We have so many new subscribers and I'm glad you all are here. I hope you'll stay around. As promised, I do a lot of different things. And since we are coming up to spring <laughs> next month, I have had spring fever just terribly. And I decided I wanted to make something kind of different for the gate that separates my front and backyard, basically. And I did just get a new gate. It, they didn't do a good job on the latch, but at any rate, <laughs> at least I have a gate, which really helps keeping the chickens from visiting the neighbors. So I want to show you what I made, y'all. How cute is this? I actually got the idea off Pinterest. There's a million of them. So um, I can't call out like a specific Pinterest person. Like, is that a thing? But I'm going to share how I did this. I'm going to make a second one because I have a, <clears throat> pardon me, <laughs> I have a terrible cough. No, I have a double gate. I've lost my um, tea. Y'all, it's not really iced tea weather, but we're supposed to have, an, it's supposed to be 71 on Thursday this week. <laughs> I can't ever remember having that warm of temperatures in February. I'm worried that March is gonna bring um, snowstorms, but we'll see, right? So the first thing I purchased, I'm just gonna show you the materials, talk about them a little bit. I will link everything. This hose is a Flexzilla. <laughs> I liked it because it is a um, larger than life nature color. I like the green. It's only a five foot hose. Funny thing, I got it on Amazon. It was the exact same price at Walmart because I did check. So yeah, super nice. And it comes bound together like this. The second thing, I go through garden gloves. <sighs> oh, y'all. Yeah. Because I wash them as soon as they get dirty. Um, I go through them pretty fast. So this is called, these are cool job. So they're like a fabric on the outside. Let me show you this. So your hands can actually breathe, but they're rubber so you don't get poked. Um, and it also covers your fingernails, which is a good thing for gardening. So uh, they get holes in them. I'm rough on them. You get them snagged on a thorn or whatever and tear a hole in them and then they're no good to anybody. So I ordered, I think it comes in a pack of six or a pack of 10, but again, I'll link it. Um, highly recommend them. It's not that they're not durable, it's that I'm hard on them. <laughs> then I did go to Walmart because I wanted some like garden implements. So these were 97 cents. And let me tell you, it cost me $5 of effort to get the sticker off, just kidding. But they're plastic. So um, they probably wouldn't be super sturdy, you know, to actually use. But if I get tired of the wreaths, I can simply take it apart, use the pieces of hose and use this. So kind of a dual purpose. Then I went through all of my miscellaneous stems and I found some greenery and some yellow flowers that I thought looked nice. I had a little leftover piece of ribbon that we're going to use. I, I use zip ties. I suppose you could use wire, but I just assumed that that would deteriorate too quickly and you know not be super practical. So let me readjust the camera so that you can see looking down and we'll get started creating this fun garden themed wreath. Stay tuned. Okay, I hope this is a good angle for you. I'm gonna tell you before I start, I did a lot, a lot of fiddling. <laughs> it, well, it's, it's easy, but it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be because I was on the struggle bus with the zip ties. All right, so what I did is I just unraveled the hose a little bit until 
these two were lined up at the top. And the first thing I did, or we, we should do, is I have two zip ties. Now I'm using some fairly lightweight ones, but this is not heavy. Uh, you could use the heavy duty, and I can never remember which way this goes. I think it goes this way, but I'll know in a minute. So I put two zip ties to hold the entire wreath together. Yeah, this is correct. So you just wanna pull it up tight. I don't know why y'all, I struggle with the whole zip tie thing, like which end you're supposed to put it in and I think I get it figured out and then I've got it wrong. If your zip ties are a little heavier, you may not need to. I still think, I think this one might be in backwards, yes. So if your zip tie comes apart like that easily, you've got it backwards. So you shouldn't be able to pull it like this. So looking at the block, it goes in with the stick out away from the tail. Does that make sense? I don't know. Not being a construction person. I zip tied all of the, well, my original chicken run, the chicken wire was all zip tied. Now, I don't cut my zip ties in case with working with them, they loosen up because that can happen. All right, next thing is I worked on my gloves and just decide I wanted one on the this side and one on this side. And I'm like, wow, how am I gonna hold this on? And I just bunched them up and we take another zip tie slid it through the hose. Uh, I've already forgotten. I think this is, yep, this is correct. And I do like to pull the knot kind of to the back like this. All right, so we've got our gloves on. I will say this one's going a lot faster, y'all. Woo, if you could have seen me on the struggle bus. All right. This is just a wire cutter. Um, I purchased this from Hardworking Mom where I get a lot of my wreath supplies. And it is absolutely fabulous for cutting apart stems and greenery. Like that. So let's just cut these off. Like, yay. All right. Now, I ended up pulling these off because they just slide. And I'm like, mm, yeah, that'll be in the yard. <laughs> and then I zip tied this together and then I zip tied it to the hose. I found that worked a lot better. So you can do it any way that's pleasing to your eye. I kind of did it like one, two, three, you know, to add some depth. And then let's zip tie these together and you could wire them again. Okay, stick out goes away. <laughs> Maybe I can actually remember this, y'all. The funny thing about the chicken run was halfway through, I decided I wanted sturdier zip ties. So I went to Lowe's and bought zip ties and they were totally different. And I started with the struggle all over again. All right, so that's nice and secure. And I, I almost think it's easier to put your yard tool or gardening tool on before your flowers. I didn't do that and it was, yeah, pretty much a nightmare. So this has a little notch. I'm gonna try to Mm. Well, that's not going to be useful. <laughs> Never mind that thought. But I actually zip tied that one to both. So let me go here to our our reference. Oh, I have it going down, not up. 
think that might be easier. Where did I zip tie that? Okay, yeah, up top here where the glove was. So, I just saw, thought this idea was so cute and I saw these wreaths, y'all, with, um, oh, pardon my shirt gapping, I didn't realize that with, um, they were like grapevine wreaths and they had put clay pots and they had put like a greenish cast to it. So stinking cute. I might have to make that too. Um, I have a grapevine wreath that has seen better days. Actually, once upon a time, my sister was going to throw it away and I was like, do not throw that. <laughs> it has a Santa on it. So it is definitely Christmas, but I could, um, you know, repurpose the Santa, just take it off. It, it looks pretty sad nowadays, so. All right, so I am not confident that that is gonna hold there, and this will be covered by the ribbon. So let's go ahead and zip tie here at the prongs. And hopefully, you know, I could have used a black zip tie actually for this. I didn't think about that. I have black too. <laughs> I've been cleaning, doing a lot of spring cleaning, y'all. How are you all started on your spring cleaning? And I have to tell you, I, I, I'm amazed at, at the things that I'm finding. And I feel a little ashamed, just to be honest about it, that I've purchased things more than once because I didn't realize I already had one. I didn't think I had any zip ties. I have 8,000 zip ties, which you can always use zip ties for a, any number of things. I use them in my wreath making, so I'm not really terribly upset about it. But I did find when I went through my utensil drawers and my junk drawer. Y'all, I can show you my junk drawer now. Not bad, huh? These are like my specialty things like, you know, pastry cutter, um, that's actually an extra divider, cookie scoops, um, you know, instant read thermometer, baking twine, rubber bands, that type of stuff. I found so much duplication. So I encourage you all, if you're getting ready to spring clean, it might be kind of fun to see what do you have that is actually duplicated that maybe you could bless someone else with. I will be going, I have a dentist appointment this morning. Blah, pray for me. Now actually, let's take a break from the wreath. This is kind of funny, y'all. You know, whenever you're, you, you are a YouTuber, you have to be accepting of the fact that you're not everyone's cup of tea. And there are people who like to um, pick on people. And if you've been with my channel a long time, y'all remember the whole debacle with my mouth and oh my gosh, being swollen like a chipmunk. I have had a lot of dental problems. I have congenitally um, bad teeth, I guess you would say. Um, but I've had a lot of dental work on the upper getting implants. So I have had people say, because I, I was missing this tooth, like, yeah, this tooth. And it would show when I smiled, people were like, do you not have any teeth? I'm like, really? <laughs> so today I'm getting impressions for the very last implant, which is my back upper tooth that I had so much problem with. I am so excited and I will get my new tooth in about a month. So I will have all my teeth. <laughs> okay, enough about that. Let's get back to the wreath. Okay, so decide where you kind of want this to go. And these stems are somewhat wired so you can bend them around, make them look pretty, twist your leaves however you want them to be. So I think I'm gonna go in between the two hoses. And again, guys, it's just it's just fiddling to figure out what you think looks best. And I'm going to try to zip tie it above the last zip tie. 
down here so that, you know, they'll kind of lock together. That's kind of crookedy. And so now the, the real fiddle begins. <laughs> Getting it like you want it. Getting these bent over to kind of cover your... your work, so to speak. So here's where we are. Oops, I'm going too high. Y'all, I'm not used to um, filming from a head, above a head. Good gravy, Mabel. <laughs> so the last thing I'm going to do, this ribbon I think is so pretty. It's so springy. It has a lot of spring green in it. But I'm basically out of it. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to use what I have instead of making a big foofy bow. This is suitable for outdoor use. So that's nice. And I am going to start here with one a little longer than the other. And I'm going to aim for right over that zip tie. Y'all, I'm doing a terrible job here. I guess, let me move this the whole thing over up. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. And then you make your loop. I'm just tying a straight up bow. Oops. Maybe. Why is that bunchy? Then you can kind of fiddle and fluff. This is a wired ribbon. And you know, when your ribbon gets looking bad, you can simply put a new ribbon on it. And then I will even up my tails and I'm going to dovetail them. So I'm just gonna fold the ribbon in half, cut it at an angle Hopefully better than that. <laughs> Not the struggle bus today. <laughs> okay, that's better. So you have the nice pretty pointy ends. This one's a little bit too long. So we'll cut it off. That was the end of the roll anyway. Now, I do want to trim off all of these zip ties that are sticking out like crazy. So let's clean the wreath up a little bit. I leave them long until I get to this part in case I decide, oh, I want to move it because you do have a little bit of play in it. Off the gloves and the oops, trowel. And then finally, I do cut the ones that are holding the hose together. And guys, there you have it. How, oops, how stinking cute is that wreath, right? All right, I'm gonna take you outside, show you where I'm gonna hang mine. So here we have our very cute wreaths. They're a little different, <laughs> as are the handles on my gate. Like really, come on now. They did such a poor job on that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. But I think they look cute and they add a little something something. So let me give you some closing thoughts and we shall finish up for today. Stay I tuned. hope you've enjoyed today's quick craft. If you do me a big favor and you enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash that like button and drop me a comment below. Are you going to try to make a garden wreath or a garden themed wreath? You could even use pieces of hose that maybe have a hole in them that you can't use anymore and just cut it to the size that you want. That would work as well and be quite frugal. I will see you all a little bit later this week, but until then, be healthy, be well, be blessed, take care.